Hello all, in this video we will see how to use the CH341A BIOS programmer. This is very much cheaper as compared to the RT809 programmer. RT809 programmer is very costly, compared to that this CH341 is economical and it supports 25 series SPA series uh, SPA BIOS ICs as well as 24 series I2C E square PROM ICs. There is a 16 pin zip socket on board and uh, there is a printing marking for placing the 24 series as well as 25 series ICs. Uh, towards handle side is 25 series and towards USB side is uh, 25 series IC. And SPA connections are given as uh, pins and the UART connection is at the bottom. And there is a jumper which is uh, placed at pin 1 and 2. This uh, jumper should be always present. If it is not there, then USB cannot communicate with the IC on the holder. So this jumper is very important. There is a 3.3 volt uh, onboard regulator which supplies uh, power to the IC onboard. This is 24C16 IC which is E square PROM. This is DIP IC and there is a dot on the IC which represents pin 1. The spin 1 should be always towards the handle. So this uh, tw for 24 series ICs, towards handle side is, uh, handle side 8 pin is for 24 series IC and pin 1 should always match the handle side. It should face the near the handle. This is very important. If you reverse the IC, the IC will fail. This is 25 series IC, mostly 25 series ICs or SMD types. This is 25Q32 BIOS IC. This should be placed at the bottom 8 pin that is towards USB side. For this you need a converter like this. There are two types of 8 pin converters 150ML and 200ML. This 25Q32 is uh, um, matching for 200ML. ML is uh, 1 by 1000 of inch and we re uh, represent this uh, converter in ML. We need 200 ML converter. You have to purchase this separately. Now you can place the converter on the zip socket. For 25 series IC you have to use the 8 pin near the USB side. But ensure that pin 1 of IC is uh, towards the handle side. You can use the converter on the reverse uh, position also. If you reverse the socket, uh, you have to reverse the IC also so that the dot should be near the handle. Always pin 1 of the IC should be near the handle. If you uh, press the socket, you can remove the IC and uh, you can turn it so that the dot matches the handle. Always pin should be uh, pin 1 should be towards the handle. There is also a SMT conversion PCB provided with this CH341 programmer. Here you have to solder the IC. You can even solder the IC directly onto the programmer or this uh, at this side. You have to match the uh, dot to pin one, and you you can solder the solder the IC here, and then program it. But it is tedious, so better to use a converter. There is also a clip converter, which is used. Uh, to hold the IC even without removing from the board. There is a 8 pin FRC connector which connects to the PCB and there is a red line which marks the pin 1. Towards the clip side also the red wire marks pin 1. This clip uh, can uh, hold the IC easily even without removing the IC from the board. The main thing you have to consider is the pin 1 should match the red wire. This is the U11 board. The memory IC, BIOS IC, uh, there is a dot which uh, represents pin 1. You can clip it so that the red wire matches pin 1. The other side PCP, also it is mentioned as, uh, the red wire is mentioned as pin 1. It will go to the 8 pin of the zip socket. So pin 1 should be near the handle. Now let us see the software section. CS341 mini programmer is the software we are going to use here. There is also a Neo programmer. Before that plug in the 
programmer to usb socket and then open the device manager under interface you will see the ch341 name now it is your program is ready for use uh, if you do not see this ch341 under device manager then you can uh, click this uh, driver exe file it is given in the description below you can download it you can double click this driver file and install it for pro programmer you need not uh, do any installation it is standby pro program double click on cs341 to open the software there is a direct button this direct button is uh, grayed out if programmer is not connected to usb under type uh, you can see 24 series escape from uh, uh, list and then 25 series bios ic list first let us test the 24 series ic which is e square from i am using here 24 c16 you can see a dot which uh, represents pin 1 this is a dip ic 8 pin dip ic and the dot represents pin 1 this pin 1 should match the handle side and uh, you have to place it on the towards the handle side 8 pin 24 series position is towards the handle side 8 pin now plug the programmer to usb you can see a red power led on the other side there is another led which will glow only when the any uh, performance is there now open the cs341 software let us select the type as 24 series e square from detect button will not be shown for uh, 24 series it is only for 25 series and under make you can select common ic is uh, 24 c 16 click on the read button to read the data from the e square form now the buffer will be filled out with some data you can click on uh, save button to save the file as dot bin file you can save it as a dot hex file also but mostly we are using dot bin file to load a file you can click on file open and select the bin file to load it on the buffer if you click open the file will be loaded to the buffer now you can click on program button to write write it on the ic you can see a program bar at the bottom progressive bar which shows the progress now uh, remove the usb device now let us test the 25 series smd ic this 25 q32 i am using this there is a dot which represents pin 1 and this is uh, 8 pin smd ic so you need a converter like this this is 200 mil converter you can press the converter socket and then place the ic and uh, just release the uh, top so that the ic will be placed properly now you place the socket on the uh, 8 pin of the zip socket this is towards uh, usb side is for 25 series so place this uh, socket and ensure that pin 1 of smd ic is towards the handle side you can place the socket uh, anyway reverse also but always the pin 1 of IC should be near the handle this is very important now plug the device to USB and then open the software CS341 software now click on the detect button to auto detect now the IC is uh, detected and you can see the name of the IC which is wind bond manufacturer is wind bond ic is 25q32 you can load a file by clicking on open the file will be loaded to the buffer now you can click on program to program the file onto the ic you can click on verify button to verify that the buffer and chip has the same data the progressive bar at the bottom shows the progress you can even erase the chip by clicking on erase button 
while any performance is there the other led will glow now remove the device from the usb let us use the clip socket the clip socket is used so that the ic can be programmed without removing from the board this is u11 board and there is 25q32 bios chip smd ic now let us use the clip socket the clip socket has got a red wire the red wire should be uh, should always match the dot on pin 1 red wire is pin 1 and it should match the dot on ic which is also pin 1 you can easily clip the ic without removing it the other end of the clip socket has got a uh, 8 pin uh, frc connector which is placed on a ic socket there is also a marking pin 1 the red wire should go to pin 1 and then you can plug this uh, plug this uh, socket to the zip socket of the programmer as we are using 25q32 ic this that is towards usb side 8 pin and the pin 1 is towards the handle side you have to place like this and then close the handle now plug the device to usb and open the software cs341 software In the software now detect button is enabled as we have plugged the device to usb now click on detect it should uh, automatically detect the ic and you you should see the manufacturer name but here it is manufacturer is uh, showing none if you click on read button the buffer is showing all ff only so there is no data it is not reading properly now remove the clip and then place it properly recheck the ic holder so that it holds properly the ic and pin 1 that is a red wire of clip matches the dot of the ic you should place it properly otherwise you cannot read the chip now click on detect again now the manufacturer name is seen as EON and it is 25V32, 25F32, 4MB IC. Now you can click on read to read the data on the chip. You can see on the buffer some data. So the data is read properly. You can do the other performance also. You can save the data you can load the data a new new bin file you can open and then you can click on program to program it and then you can verify it and even erase the data and you can handle the chip uh, one by one in the function thank you for watching